Well, hi guys and girls, welcome back to the Spare Rooms, Emma again. This is next part of this little Mythic Boy steam engine build. Better get on and get it finished. This piston's next, which is just brass. It's a brass rod in a brass piston. The rod's got to fit our cylinder cover. And the piston's got to fit the cylinder. So that's pretty straightforward. So I have a bit of brass rod which is quarter inch. If we take the burr off it, it's still not going to go in that hole because either my ream is cutting a, a fraction undersized, which I don't believe, or this is about a thou over, which is more likely. So what we need to do is polish this down. Overall length is two and eight inches. So we need to leave enough sticking out of the chuck. To, to get our full length. And I'm just going to use a click spring style polishing stick. I made a video about them. I'll put the link down there. But I guess that the first thing will be to get that nice polished finish that goes through that hole. And we'll get that done and then we'll put a clevis or a groove in here, a clevis with a little slitting saw. And make him the right length. And start thinking about a piston to go on it. So the secret is to keep that moving, otherwise you'll get low and high spots there and it won't be parallel. But that's pretty good there, so I'm going to live with that. I put a mark on that, so I'm just going to turn that round. Put a bit, a tiny bit of wet and dry around there, just to stop it being marked. And face that down to that line. So I've made a little jig here, which is just a bit of hex aluminium that I had with a reamed hole in it and a grub screw. We can drop that in. Straight on our tool post there. And tighten up the grub screw. Just nip him, it doesn't need very much. On my huge list of things to do is to make a proper arbor to go in the, the collet for this for a slitting saw on this lathe. It hasn't happened yet, so we're just putting a mandrel in the three-jaw chuck. This is a it's a slitting saw, but it hasn't got any any clearance on the sides here, so it's not a particularly strong or good one I don't think. This is fine for putting a slot in this piece of piece of brass. 
but it's a little bit wimpy. I'll just change the camera angle there for you. So that's the, the clevis. This lot's not quite in the middle, but it's not going to worry anything. I took too much out of one side. It's nice and parallel and straight, and I don't think anyone's going to notice that. So the piston's pretty much rinse and repeat. I've machined this down. What I have done. is made a plug that's a nice fit in there and measured it and made this one the same so I know roughly where we are without screwing up the bore too much that's pretty sweet it goes in there but it's still a fraction tight so what I'm going to do now I've marked a groove for the center just to hold a little bit of oil and uh, I've marked the, the end there to part it off what I'm going to do just drill it through and I'm going to use a 90 degree center point spot drill to start the hole. Um, because it's on the bench basically. number one drill which is sort of that 64th under quarter inch for Remy. It's also really sharp so that's a, a good reason to use that one. Going to finish it off with a bit of cut oil and the nice sharp quarter inch ring. <laughs> Last job is to part him off. Just a fraction longer than the mark.
put in together. This wants to be exactly inch and a half here. My fit boys used a bit of Loctite and I might just do the same. Leave him for a bit to dry and I'm going to set him up again and just polish that to fit the cylinder and machine the end. So let's do that. So all that really remains to be done now is to take a nice sharp tool and, and trim that down to, to 5 eighths of an inch long and give him a polish to make him fit. which is pretty good. Let's put him back together, see if it all works. So that's the piston in. Next job is to make up a, a little con rod here and set this up at six o'clock and this halfway and locate a couple of bolts here. So it's starting to look like it and I'm pleased with that pretty quick little component but it's something you've got to think about before you start like all these things but that's a pretty good fit and everything seems to be aligned really nicely so I'm going to call that part done thanks for watching guys and girls and be kind to each other don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment start some conversation I'd like to get to know you all and more soon.